Good afternoon, North Georgia. Meteorologist Andrew Wilson here with an update on the tropics. We continue to track potential tropical cyclone 16. Now we've been talking about this system for a couple of days now. We were talking about how it had a medium chance for tropical development there off the coast of Florida and Georgia, and it was just north of the Bahamas. Now the uh, National Hurricane Center has labeled this as potential tropical cyclone 16. It is forecast to become a tropical storm over the next few days, making landfall somewhere around the North Carolina coastline. It's looking like uh, possibly around uh, Saturday morning. We're going to keep a close eye on this. This is going to be staying just off to the east. We're likely not going to have any impact other than maybe a little bit of increased cloud cover here in North Georgia, and that would be about it. Uh, but let's take a look at what this system is expected to do. Again, maybe up to 60 mile per hour winds by Saturday morning. Here's a look at what our forecast track is showing. Once we get to about 10 p.m. on Friday, again, this system staying well off to the east. Uh, you see that it, the impacts will likely be for South Carolina, North Carolina, really not going to be much for us here in North Georgia at all. Uh, the Georgia coastline may end up getting a little bit rougher surf from this, but that would be about it. Looking into Saturday around 6 a.m., looking like the storm could again make landfall somewhere along the uh, southern southeastern coastline there of North Carolina. The system then pushes inland, weakening as it continues its way off towards the north. Now, spaghetti models are in fairly good agreement about where this system is going to go. Of course, this is a newer labeled system, so we're still waiting for more of the spaghetti models to start to populate in there. As computer model runs go throughout the day, you'll see a few more of those show up. Taking a look at the coastline of North Carolina, the Virginia, all the way up through the Delmarva Peninsula, you can see that there are tropical storm warnings in place down into the South Carolina coastline. They have a tropical storm watch in place. No hurricane warnings, no hurricane watches. This is not expected to intensify uh, all the way up to a hurricane, so those are not needed now, but if that does change, we'll of course continue to keep you updated on it. This system, if it does earn a name, will likely be Ophelia. There is another system way out in the Atlantic. Now, if that system ends up earn, uh, get, getting the name Ophelia first, Philippe would be the next name, and uh, we'll see what this system ends up being named here as we head throughout the next couple of days. Of course, the tropics, the peak of the season is typically around September 10th. We're now on the back side of that. We should start to see things calm down here as we move into the end of September and then into early October. But of course, you can always have a tropical system that can impact you, including all the way up to the end of the season, which is around November 30th. We'll keep you updated throughout hurricane season.